Uh, fiber is a big part of this. Uh, there'll be two rooms um, where this uh, fiber is focused. The MMR or meet me room, this is where fiber will come into the building. And this is typically a critical path item just from the sheer amount of equipment and time that it takes to set up. It's very labor intensive. There's not much room for people to move around. Uh, your m and &E contractor will typically want to take this building on once it has been painted and dusted. So there's, because once it's in, there's no way you're going to get any other fit out kind of happening around this. So it is normally a critical path item on your program. The IDF is where server monitoring power and equipment and um, network fiber for the floor comes in. So it'll go from your MMR to an IDF on each floor and then from the IDF onto the, into the server rooms. But it also takes in server equipment power and passes it to the BMS or EPMS. Those are linked to building management, and this is uh, quite an important part as it's now being used uh, at as, as such a granular level that they can monitor uh, each individual server or each individual rack. So it allows more for efficiency. They can see um, what equipment is not being fully utilized. They can look at maybe seeing if all the if they're particularly doing cloud computing, if people start you know, shutting off the system at 5 p.m. Do they have lots of allocation in the evening? Can they rent that space out or rent that capacity out to someone else? Uh, because this means, because the EPMS can be run remotely, it allows them to run their data centers warmer or these dark data centers, which we touched, uh, touched on earlier for efficiency. And uh, just things like that, generally just removes human error as well, because there's no one in there actually physically, you know, rummaging through cables, checking things on, on um, servers and the uptime for the servers is much better. Uh, a few other notable bits of equipment that you might come across. So there's water processing. Uh, this would be thing like soften water, uh, filtration systems, uh, if the uh, enclosed cooling loop is topping up. Fuel supply is usually an underground um, container, which will be put in amongst the building piles. If it's in built up area, if it's a campus style thing, they'll probably have this at uh, ground level. And fire suppression would be a mix of gas, like energy or something similar, and then water for the admin systems. It'd be gas for any kind of electrical or server installations.